what do you think is the key of surviving the time that you'll be out? It's just uh, on other guys to step up, obviously, and um, have more of a presence in the lineup. They're going to be playing more. Um, so, I mean, we've dealt with this stuff like this in the past. Obviously, it's uh, the nature of sports is guys get injured and um, other guys got to step in and, and fill those roles and uh, and play. So I'm sure guys are you know, ready to go. And you know, a guy like Laggy, who has kind of been out of the lineup for a little bit, um, you know, a guy that's been itching to get in, so really good opportunity for him to play some big minutes for us. Austin, are you guys a little bit surprised he's doing it in person, given he has no history of anything like this? A little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, you know, they do their their due diligence on on all that stuff, and obviously they got to make the decision. But yeah, definitely a little bit surprising. What do you think of what Greg did, slapping puck in an empty net there? Um, yeah, I mean, I think not really. Uh, like I think it definitely deserved a reaction. Obviously, you know Morgan's not a malicious player and somebody that's uh, dirty by any means. Um, so I think, you know, him approaching him was something that was just bound to happen. Somebody was going to do it, especially um, after a play like that. I just don't think it's really necessary to go down there and part of the shot competition and into the into the net. But um, it is what it is. It, it's you know in the past now and obviously. Uh, you know, we come out of there with a loss, and um, you know our, our best team man obviously going to be, you know, who knows how long he's going to be out for. But um, it is what it is. We got to obviously just pick ourselves up and move forward, and um, put our best foot forward, and, and get ready for a game tomorrow. Have you ever seen that at any level of competition? This last show? Uh, I don't. No. Just last week at the All Star game. <laughs> what was your experience like? You didn't have an in-person hearing, but what was it like to go through it for the first time? It's definitely very eye-opening. Yeah, definitely very eye-opening. Um, yeah, I mean, in my experience, you have a couple conversations, get on the phone, and um, it all happens and comes together pretty quick. So, um, I don't know. It, it kind of, I felt like my uh, my bed was already made when I hopped on that phone. So, I'm not sure everybody's situation is going to be a, a bit different, but, um, you know, I guess we'll see what happens. Did it, did it affect the way you played after, after you had one suspension? Like, did, did, do you think it had any bearing on you? No. What's the key for the team? You know, obviously two or three losses out of the break, but what can you as a group do better moving forward here? Yeah, I think a big part of it is just, um, you know, not shooting ourselves in the foot through through the course of games. Um, you know, it feels like we're doing a lot of really good things um, at times and then doing some very poor things at times. It's obviously costing us goals and costing us games. So um, it's just finding that consistency and um, throughout the game and those big moments um, you know, it, within the game that we just need to be better at and, and, uh, and hunker down a little bit. How encouraging is it to see Joseph a whole participant in practice again? Yeah, it was good. I mean, I thought he looked really, really good today. Um, I feel like this is kind of the first day we've seen him in a while where he's been in, in the net uh, the majority of practice. So uh, I thought he looked really good and looks uh, well, like himself. So that's always a positive sign. And hopefully he's just continuing to take steps forward into you know, being ready to get back into game action. But, um, yeah. What's the biggest wrestle with Jake at the top of the power play versus him? Uh, I think just uh, familiarity with, uh, with Mo, obviously. And... Um, but, you know, Caber's been in that position before and a veteran guy, and um, he knows what he's doing up there. It's, it's, not, it's not really rocket science. Just try to keep things simple uh, for the full power play in, in general for, for all of us and, and try to just attack, uh, attack and give what's given to us and try to create opportunities out of, uh, you know, out of their structure. I mean... Guy takes a clap and right now you gonna go play patty cake with him? Like, no, there's got, there's got to be a message sent, and uh, I, I don't think a, a push is a message to be honest with you. So um, I thought I thought it was appropriate. What do you think of the potential? You know, an in-person hearing could mean six or more games. Do you think that's warranted at all? No, I don't personally, uh, but I'm not the uh, Department of Player Safety. I like I said before, I I was expecting a fine, a one-game max. You know. I'd, you know, the kid got up after he saw, you know, nobody was on top of anymore. Um, completely fine, and I don't, uh, you know, I think that's got to be taken into account, too. Do you think that, you know, there's a lot of talk about, you know, the unwritten rules or hockey, but do you think something, a guy in the NHL, that would be something you would just know not to do? You would hope. You would hope. But, um, you know, these young kids these days are, uh, 
they're playing a different brand of hockey than I'm used to. Uh, the codes changed a little bit. The games changed a lot, and uh, it's unfortunate that you know a young kid like that can get away with something like that, and then you know, one of our best players is going to get suspended for it. So, um, yeah, I'd make hockey violent again, and get that tattooed on me. Have you ever seen that at any level? Slap shot. Uh, I probably have, but uh, the reaction was probably much more severe, and uh, there's probably no penalties handed out, and everybody went on their way and played the next game. Um, I definitely haven't seen it in recent years. You're not going to play another game this year, but that's uh, you know, something like that will linger. You figure it's going to be in the, your memory bank or the team's memory bank? Yeah, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully one day I can be on an empty empty net and I can take a clapper into their net and... Then we'll see. We'll see the repercussions of that, right? If you had been out there at that time, what, what would your reaction have been? Probably have an in-person hearing too. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Uh, the, the clapper into the net. And Morgan's response. Uh, I'm not honestly. I'm not going to comment much on it. I want to see what happens with Mo here, but just. Uh, comment on Mo. I mean, he's. We know what type of guy and player he is, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say much more about the play. I think it was pretty obvious. How do you survive? It looks like he's going to miss a few games here at least. Uh, what, what's the key to getting by with him out of the lineup, considering what he's meant to the team? Um, yeah, we all got to pick up our uh, pick up those minutes. I mean, those are big minutes. He plays in uh, uh, every situation. I keep saying it. He's been really underrated this year across the league. I think uh, offensively, obviously, we all know what he does, but I think. In all areas of the game, he's been really good this year. A um, uh, big part of our team, obviously. So for us, is you know the six guys who play tomorrow, we got to all know that uh, it's not going to be one guy stepping up and playing Mo's, Mo's role. It's going to be all of us chipping in here and there throughout the game. Are you feeling after missing the game? You feel like you're good to go tomorrow? Yeah. No, I felt uh, felt really good in practice today, and uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll feel the same in the morning and go from there. Is a wear and tear thing for you, or what's? Uh, Again, I'm not going to say anything on, on like an injury, but uh, uh, feel good. I felt good today, so I'm happy about that. You, yeah. have a, I'm sorry. you have a bunch of games coming up against the West, and have played really well against them. Why do you think that is? Is it just a statistical thing? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that if there's. A, I don't know if there's anything to it. I think uh, um, the style of play across the league is pretty much the same now. Everyone's so quick and plays fast and plays hard. So. Um, Probably just one of those things. Don't read too much into it, but uh, yeah, we'll take it and, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out in our favor again tomorrow. You've gotten to know Timothy pretty well. Uh, he was telling us the other day he hasn't been happy with his game of late. W when he's at his best, what, what can he bring to this team? Oh, I think yeah, I think just like he's been playing well. I think sometimes uh, you know we all do it. We put uh, a lot of pressure on ourselves in different situations and, and uh, sometimes think that things are worse than they they really are. Um, but that's a good trait to have. You're always looking to get better. So, you know, he's obviously moves the puck really well, skates really well, and plays plays physical, a lot more physical than uh, people think. And uh, when he's doing that, everything else comes. He can he can really shoot it and put it in the net offensively too when he gets chances. It's key for the for the team coming out of the break. Two of three losses here. What what can be tightened up? What has to happen to get you guys back to to some of the play that you were doing before the break? Yeah, really. I think it's just all about. Uh, you know, when you really look at the breakdowns and stuff and, and we're just little areas where defensively we're not on the right side of it or making the right decisions uh, with the puck in, in certain areas and times of the game. And I think once we get over that hump, I mean, we already are a tough team to beat, but once we get over that hump, it, it becomes extremely tough to, to beat us when we don't really beat ourselves. In general, I know you don't want to speak about the play in, in, in uh, specifically, Mark, but in all your years around this game, 20 years plus, uh, do you ever remember something that happened on an empty net? A slap shot into an empty net? No, I've never seen it until that, that one. I mean, I've seen guys put the puck into an empty net after a whistle, right. which is sort of uh, sometimes it's accidental, sometimes on purpose, but I've never seen that one. Obviously, so a young guy. Have you noticed there's a difference in the culture of the young guys coming into this league versus what when you started out? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Is that disappointing? Like, what, what, where do you think that comes from? Um, I don't want to. Honestly, I don't want to comment. I don't want to say something. I don't. I'm going to regret, but I don't want to comment on it. I think it's a different mentality for sure now. Okay. It's Saturday.
slap shot into the empty net. Morgan's reaction. Uh, yeah, I mean, slap shot is kind of something that I haven't seen happen on empty netter. But um, I mean, Morgan's a great team guy, and I mean, you don't ever see him really step in. Um, pushing boundaries or whatever, but uh, he's he stepped up. He's stepped up for our team in that situation. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much more to say about that. Why so isn't it cool to do that? I mean, you just gotta put it in, I guess. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just felt unnecessary at the time. I mean, like I said before, I haven't really seen that ever happen, ever. Are you surprised he's getting an in-person hearing, which means it'll be a pretty stiff suspension? Yeah, I mean. I don't think Mo has ever done anything dangerous or, uh, I mean, before. So, um, what does he have, like three three penalties this year or something? So, that yeah, is what it is. What message does Morgan's reaction send maybe to your group and to the rest of the league as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, <laughs> I mean, set a bar that we're, we're there to battle every night. And, I mean, it's not, we're not, we don't want to make it easy. Um, so, make it hard for you guys to... They're going to have to make it hard for them to beat us. Where does this leave the Battle of Ontario? Will this be a game you circle next season when you see it on the schedule? That was the last game against those yeah. guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. When we play them, we play them. Like, I'm not really too worried about it. Okay. What's the, the key to survive without him in the lineup? Morgan's been so good this year. Yeah, I mean, he's been on fire, obviously. Incredible season. Um, I mean, we've have a pretty resilient group, I feel like. So, I mean, when guys have been out, I mean, other guys have stepped up and, and played, uh, took over that role. And, I mean, been able to try to uh, not not take his spot, but, I mean, um, help help uh, the team and uh, build around that um, when he's gone. So, um, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be good at that. You know Timothy pretty well. We spoke to him a couple days ago. He wasn't happy with where his game was at. When he's at his best, what can he, what can, what can he bring to this group? Lilligren, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, sometimes you just uh, get, get in a little rut of not uh, playing your best. I mean, when he's uh, moving and skating out there, I mean, shutting down plays and breaking us out and um, generating offense, I mean, that's when he's at the top of his game. And, I mean, we're as a team, we've got to help each other play our best hockey. So, I mean, it's all on everybody. Joe Wall was back out there with you guys. Your guys How did he look? Sorry? Joe Wall was back out there, in regular practice. How did you look? Yeah, he looked great as always. Uh, luckily, I scored on him, though. Having an in-person hearing. Well, I was surprised. <coughs> um, just, just given, you know, I've, we spent a lot of time watching pretty much every cross check that's that's happened in the last number of years, and um, I, the ones that I thought were similar in nature to, to Morgan were nothing close to requiring that. But at the same time, you know, it's. There's a history also of events that happen in Toronto, and with the Leafs, they get more attention, more hype. That tend to tend to lead to something uh, something such as this. So, um, it, to that end, not surprised. But you know, we'll uh, it's out of our hands, and, and we'll be ready to play tomorrow. Are you hoping that they will take into consideration based on what you know of Morgan over the years? Well, I. Th I I mean, I think it goes without saying the type of player Morgan is. I mean, I think just a couple of weeks ago, I think we were talking about him winning the Lady Bang and competing for that. So uh, he's a um, pretty exemplary uh, guy, and not just on our team, but in the league in terms of how he conducts himself and how he plays a good heart on his game, um, but is very respectful and uh, um, I think admired by his teammates and, and the opposition because of how he conducts himself. So. Uh, I think because of that, you know that you know what his intentions are going to you know to react to a situation like that, and it's not to it's not to be malicious by any means, but it's to it's to do his part to to um, you know to to show that you know that uh, didn't like what happened, um, and that's it. When there is a hearing, what's your role as a coach in preparing for that, if, if, if any? Like, how, how involved are you? I'm thinking like even the Spezza one. Yeah, I have I have zero involvement in that. Uh, you know, like you say, we have been through a number of of, of ones uh, in the past. Um, <clears throat> it seems like we've had to prepare for it more so than anybody else in the league, perhaps. But uh, my involvement is uh, is not 
to zero. My, my, my role is to get ready for St. Louis. Do you think the, the league is going to try and make an example of Bryman? I, that's not for me to answer. That's for them to answer. Do you think the judgment's worth on players here just because of the number of busts here or because of the Leafs themselves? Again, not. I, it's not for me to answer. That's that's a question for others. Why have you gone with uh, Lilligren up there with, with Brody or his formation in, in Morgan's absence? Yeah, I just got to go through and look at you know, look at different options. Uh, you know, uh, it's a chance for us to get Brody playing on his left side. Um, you know, so I, I suspect you know when you lose a player like Morgan in his and his minutes and the role that he plays, you know, everybody's gonna have to move around and play in different spots and play with different people depending on the situation and to manage the minutes and such. But you know, like, yeah, like anytime you have somebody out with an injury or whatever the case may be, uh, you just you know you expect your team game to tighten up that much more and the individuals to, to step up and, and take advantage of the opportunity. So what do you think this is relative to Sheldon in that case that obviously the tightening up you like you're saying on the forwards to be a big part of that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying with the team game. Everybody just playing a little bit better, a little bit tighter, a little more consistent, all the things that we've been talking about. You know, we've we've managed these types of situations when players have left our lineup in, in the past, uh, you know, past number of years. You know, Morgan left last year with an injury, and, you know, we thought, oh, this is not good, and then we played our best hockey as a team and went on our best stretch. And, you know, this year already we, you know, we, we lost Austin unexpectedly for a game, and, you know, it's a bit of a downer going into the game, and it turns out to be one of our most dominant uh, performances of the season. Um, and you never know how these things go, but uh, um, in the past, our group has stepped up, and you know, we'll require more of the same. Joe Wall back at practice today for the first time. Where is his status at now that he's been able to take this step? Yeah, it's uh, today was an important step just to get him uh, more reps and to have have his own net. That's why, you know, Jones got some work in prior to practice and, and a little bit in while we were while we were getting going there uh, on his own outside of the practice session itself. But uh, getting Joe uh, tested a little bit more today um, and looks like he got through it well. But I haven't talked to him more than medical people and we'll uh, chart his path going forward. But today was a, a good step. What do you want to see from Lilligan? Yeah, just you know, Lily's, Lily's played in this spot before. Uh, he's played in these situations. He's played well for us, you know. And just uh, accept it. Know that you're going to be needed. Um, you know, go do a job and, and, and play as he's capable of. Like, Lily's done. Lily's a lot like you know a lot of other areas of our game. He's played some good hockey for us. Um, you know, at times, at times uh, there's some mistakes or this or that or whatever it might be. But he's played well for us, and I, I expect he'll do the same. I think. Anytime you, you know, all of a sudden you you're needed that much more, you think that much less, and you just go out and play. Sometimes that can be beneficial to a player too. Can you update on Timmons? Uh, no update. He's got an appointment today that's going to kind of help chart the course for him. He's he's uh, still not feeling well, and and uh, he's going to be out. He's going to be out for sure for tomorrow. Not available, and, and we'll have more for uh, for you after his appointment today. Uh, we'll get to see how they wake up tomorrow and how they're doing and feeling. But um, uh, in Gio's case, it was you know, more so whether he could just get his skate on and and uh, feel good out there, which he said he did. In fact, felt better with the skate on than off, so that's encouraging. And uh, Camp uh, seems like he's good. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure that things don't, don't, don't tighten up or get worse worse for him tomorrow. Your sense of how Morgan's uh, reacting. We saw you had a bit of a chat with him before practice. He's a heart and soul guy. He doesn't want to be out. Like, what's your sense of how he's dealing with all this? I think he's. I think he's. You know, he's he's handling it well. I think he's disappointed that he's got to, you know, go for hearing and such, whatever. But that's you know, he recognizes that's kind of the way things go. Um, but again, I think you know, Morgan just made it clear what, you know, that he had no intention of, of, uh, of. Uh, you know, the way that it looked or the way that it played out. Um, but, uh, you know, he's going over there to just make a, make a point, and he's not just going to let it go away. And um, that's what I would expect any of our players to do. I mean, that's what I expect our opponent to do if, if we did something uh, something similar. It's just uh, sort of the way that it goes. But more, I think Morgan's, you know, uh, good with it. He'll go and, and uh, plead his case and see how it goes.